Hey everybody, it's Joyce here, Shadow by Tarot with a little on you, bringing you the tarot love tea for the zodiac sign of Pisces. Pisces in love. And this is a timeless reading, guys. Take it as it comes. Take it if it resonates. If it doesn't, leave the rest behind because it will not resonate with everyone's situation. That's absolutely impossible to do. <laughs> okay. So. If it doesn't resonate, it's not your reading today. That's great. That's fine. Enjoy yourself on Shadow Bayou. Join me on my live streams. When I go live, I do super chat so I can and will answer your questions one-on-one -on -one publicly <laughs> with super chat. And so join us there. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, please subscribe if you have not. And join my evergreen, ever-growing, only Bayou Tribe on YouTube. I want to add, join us. Have a great time. And you know what? I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your time. I hope you enjoy the reading. All right, thanks. Let's get started. Bop, bop. All right. Holy Spirit, give me the love messages for the Zodiac sign of Pisces. And guys, if you need or want a private reading with me, we can arrange that. Definitely. My private readings are $60, unlimited time, five questions, and I send it to you via private video email. If you are interested in a private reading for your own situation, please just email me here at shadowbayoutarot at gmail.com and we'll get that done for ya. All right, Pisces, the zodiac sign of Pisces in love and I am using the Everyday Witch Tarot to deliver these messages of love for you, Pisces. What are the strongest, most dominant messages in love? For Pisces, the zodiac sign of Pisces in love. We have here the page of cups that came out. Woo, somebody's keeping an eye on someone they love. They want to make a little offer, might feel a little shy. This could be you or the person you're dealing with. Energy is fluid just as time is, so take it as it resonates. Strength. Somebody needs the courage to approach and reveal how they feel. Make that offer a declaration of love. Somebody needs to muster up the courage here in the strength card, Leo Energy. And we have new beginnings to look forward to in the sun card. This could take till summertime. I'm not saying it will be summertime, but those sunflowers, that is also Sagittarius energy as well as Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, though. These are energy readings, okay? Put them back how they belong. So there is going to be new beginnings in love for you, Pisces. Some of you may become pregnant even. You don't have to be pregnant. <laughs> But some of you will become pregnant. Six of Swords. Somebody's moving away from a toxic energy here. Difficult situations. That's why they're so reluctant and insecure and shy. Might not be just shyness, y'all, but the insecurities of having to leave a past relationship or a relationship that recently ended that was toxic to this person. And that's why they fear the new beginning. Person could also quite possibly try to run from the new beginning. Let's see. Three of Cups is here. Could be more than one person involved in this new beginning. Third party situation. Somebody might be trying to hide. However... If that's for anyone, that's for maybe a 1% or 2% of you, not all. I do feel this person wants a new beginning. They want to start something with you. And this is someone from the past that you're dealing with coming in. Celebrations here. We have the King of Swords. 
So somebody is going to tell you the truth about what happened in the past if this is someone you are reconnecting with. They went through some turmoil in their life not regarding you that doesn't pertain to you and that's why they do have, that's part of their insecurity and fear. Okay, not all of it, part of it. The other part of it is not knowing if you will accept their offer. Not sure where they stand with you and how you would receive them. Okay, they are insecure. They're not going to tell you that, but that's why it's taken them a little bit to approach you. Because they have to feel comfortable doing that. They have to get the courage up to come forward, reveal how they feel. They feel like they want to start this new beginning with you. We have the Hierophant here. This is healing, finding inner peace, being in touch with your higher level of self, your intuition, following that. Because this person knows they want to commit to you. All right, now this could be your energy toward them, but this person knows they want to commit to you and it's going to take them time to build up that courage and get over some in past fears. I'm going to put it to you that way. Here they come in the Knight of Cups. From the page to the night. Okay, I feel that once they speak with you, they'll feel more confident about moving forward towards you. We have the devil energy here. This person could be obsessively thinking of you. They could have been obsessively worried about what they can offer you. We have the two of wands. You have been waiting or this person has been waiting for a while to see how things would go before they can progress. We have the lovers card here. This person definitely wants to be with you. All right. They feel a soul connection with you. The fool, they want a new beginning. They don't know if you'll give them one, but they want a new beginning. Okay. They want more of an equal give and take. They want to put the work into the relationship because in the past, somebody here did not. Somebody gave more than the other person in the past. They resent or regret, I should say regret. They regret past actions, how things went. Okay, crying over spilled milk, but they're not paying attention, seeing that that two of cups is still there, that soulmate bond never broke. And that's why and how that's part of them feeling compelled to come forward to you. The Eight of Wands here. They're taking action in trying to resolve all this turmoil in their head regarding this situation. Okay. They want to straighten it all out in their head. They know they want to let go of past burdens. But that tornado is basically the confusion of the communication. Not understanding one another may have been a problem in the past. Them not understanding you or you not understanding them, but there was miscommunication. Everything just got all mixed up and caused a problem. And they, res they regret that. I keep wanting to say resent. So some of you may be dealing with someone who has resentment. Okay. But everything got mixed up in the head. Miscommunication. And somebody was feeling defensive. Okay. Regarding the person that they really felt was the one. And they still do look at you as though you are the one or you see them as the one. Someone that they could build with. But there was something that happened in a heartbreak here. That a split up, a separation. It may or may not have been a third party. But there was an intense, intense hurt here in the past. But... This person is gaining clarity. They have come to some realizations regarding you and the situation. And that's why they're ready to come forward. They have more of an idea of what's going on and how to proceed with their map. 
they have a clear understanding and they know the path they want to take. They want to come out and communicate. They may have been keeping an eye on you through social media, through friends, however, their supplies. But they do want to speak with you. They have been in isolation, contemplation, really going within and trying to figure things out. And now they're ready to come forward and make an offer. More messages, please, regarding Pisces love life. You actually have a heavy Leo and Sagittarius energy here. A heavy Virgo energy. A heavy Libra energy. And Taurus. Those are the more dominant energies. Pisces, your energy is here, but the other energies are dominating. So, Ten of Swords, I feel like you are completing. You are in, the, you are basically healing from the past situations, okay? That's going to come to an end and be able to help you move forward in what you truly desire. You need to heal some more as why you are sitting on this. Look, but not letting it go. You don't want to let it go because you do desire this Ten of Cups with this person. You're just taking a back seat right now, trying to heal from this situation. But you will be moving forward towards them or them towards you, however it applies, guys. Basically, whoever ended the relationship in the past is going to be the one to come forward. This is the person going through all this inner turmoil and trauma at this moment. All right, Pisces. That was your reading. So please comment down below. Let me know how it resonates. And hopefully I will see you soon on my live streams. Have a very blessed day.